So we're uh, we're just entering the um, southern end of the um, fire zone here. Um, the fire started about oh, just a few kilometres to our left, which is the southern end, and then the first night it raced through here, um, headed over to the right and travelled another probably 30 kilometres, I suppose. So we're at the thin edge of the wedge here, but as you, the further you go to the right, it, it sort of fanned out. Um, and so, yeah, people were very, very lucky, you know, well, having said that, 85 houses or something got burnt and all the properties. Um, but it's just amazing that the fireys could um, save some of these places. Look, there's a, people doing the new power poles all through here. They said it's going to be weeks before uh, a lot of these people get power back because of the extensive um, burn area. So this is quite a narrow strip actually. Um, it, it goes up here a bit further. Um, and I think, yeah, look, you know, what can you do? Yeah, I, not, there's, a, there's a place that's gone there. That's burnt. This was a timber yard, that's all gone. I saved that one though. So is that one? Oh, that one's gone. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'll just add this to um, a video that I've just done, so we're all safe. Oh, look at that, you know, they're lucky. Burnt all around it. And then when you, oh, sorry about the shaky camera here, it's a bit hard to see. And, um, and luckily they saved the pub. Whee! This is called the Dable Falls Hotel. Um, it's burnt all around it. And then when we, well, we might get a view from up the top of this hill here. I don't know whether we can. Did it travel all the way over to the right there? buggers. Yeah, I think that'll have to do. Shouldn't really be doing this but anyway it just gives you a view. Cheers. Oh, good morning. Welcome to another beautiful day in paradise up here at Scroungers. Um, yes yeah, so busy busy and three videos in a week after I don't know how long before the previous one. So anyway we uh, we got back here um, and to find this. That looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, there's a pity. Last week when he came, that fitting there had snapped off. So he lost all the water in this tank. And I'd just spent like three days carting water from the, the bottom property. So how how does that happen? You know, like I just don't get it, but anyway. So now we're going to make sure we just leave the uh, the tap off, and now we're just filling the containers from this as we need it, and turn the tanks off. Um, yeah, so I put all new pipes in. I put a new fitting on on this tank as well. So now that all goes down to another little storage tank. So when that's gone, we'll just fill that up rather than having it running down there all the time with a yeah, with a tap down there. So, yeah, how disappointing is that? So now we, we are really on rations. We, you know, we thought we had plenty of water to get us through to the rains. Well, now we're, we're pretty tough, you know. But we'll manage. Yeah, that's all right. We just have to be very careful. More careful than we'd like to be. All right, so anyway, um, the property down the bottom there... Um, Excuse the sun there, that's pretty... I don't know whether you can actually see it through those trees there. Just right down the, the bottom there. Um, the, the water tanks are sort of just behind these trees here. But there's no track that runs down um, 
from here down to there so you have to come up around on the road so yeah that was really disappointing after all that hard work too yeah. anyway there's bacon villiers i don't know whether you can actually see too much down here at the moment got quite a few flowers out well that'll do for now i think guys and girls